Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to three of the weekly contest 308. Minimum number, a uh, minimum amount of time to collect garbage. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. So, this one, I am not sure that there's anything that I missed. I think the one thing that it, it's very easy to miss um, is that you have to visit each house in order. But you don't have to visit every house, and that means that they can terminate early. That's a really er weird way of saying it, but that's what I got when I read this. And then after that, it is just a simulation. That's why I, I end up taking f you know four minutes and a half or so because I was so confused about whether like I thought there may be more to this problem, especially for Q three. So for this one, um, yeah, it's just basically you simulate. There's only three garbage types or garbage trucks and they you can only move them and because they move independently there's no, nothing you know nothing to kind of think about right you just you can because they you can only move them independently it, it makes sense always to do it one at a time meaning try the m truck then the p truck then the g truck right and just do it one at, at a time and here you just simulate you go to you know given these input you 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 simulate picking up the garbage one at a time and then go to the next one. And of course, the, like I said, care next to be taken needs to be taken so that you don't visit houses after your last phase. And well, there are a couple, probably a couple of ways you can do it. You just do a for loop with like the last, um, the last known thing and then do a for loop over that or something like that. The way that I did this is basically similar is that, you know, for each truck in MPG, um, I set a max and the, the, and that's pretty much the idea that I, you know, with the traveling and, you know, I have to, I keep two things, a current and a max. And basically current is just keeping track of how much time as you go from left to right for each truck. But we don't add it unless it is in garbage, meaning that if there's no pickup, then we don't, we don't update the max. Um, I mean, we, we add the traveling time for future references, but we don't update the max. So that, that enough is kind of, so that in essence, you, you will only get the travel time up to the last time where C is in garbage, uh, sub I. So that's basically the idea. This is going to be three times linear. Um, yeah, uh, linear times three because for each, for each, uh, and you could probably do this in a cleverer way, but um, but this is the way that I think it's a little bit better. Um, yeah, actually, I, I don't think that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there are different ways you can do it, but I think they all come roughly the same. Maybe this is a little bit slower because I think this is three times slower because there's a for loop and stuff, you know, maybe putting in a collection uh, or like a, a dictionary or something like that and and like keeping track of a lot more railroads. But this is the way that I think about it. This is way simpler, though. If I got in TLU, yeah, I would have been very sad. But yeah, but this is going to be three times N in, t in terms of time. You could probably figure out, I mean, I don't think there's any crazy operations here. So three times n, which is O of n linear time, and then space, we just use O of one. I don't, yeah. I mean, we only have a couple of variables, and that's it. So linear time, constant space, and that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think, and you can watch me sub live in the contest now. Minimum number of time to cut garbage. Do, do, do. One unit of any type takes one minute. Okay. I to I plus one. So to, okay. Min okay, let's see. I kind of get what they're saying, but let's see. Oh, the middle one. I to I plus one. What does that mean? Oh, that means they don't have to visit the last houses. Okay. So, do, do you just sum the components or am I missing something? <clears throat> so, garbage at zero. Picks up. Oh, that's grass. That's one. 
Zero to one, zero to two. Okay. Thirteen minutes to pick up all the glass. Okay. Um yeah, I don't get I don't know that I get MP3 for uh. I represent this in a good way for and then set this with travel. I guess we don't need enumerate then if that's the case. Um, <coughs> What am I doing? Eh. Uh, just do it the normal way, Larry. Trying too too hard on Python stuff, it's confusing. Okay. Um mm, Okay, so let's start at one so we get to travel. Wait, okay, if C is in... Um, okay, so current, we add it to garbage of 0.cal of C. Okay, and then now for each one, we add the travel time, right? Um, let's just say max is equal to 0. So you see why in a second. Okay, so if uh, so okay, so now we add the travel time and oops. And then we do something like this. But if C is in garbage sub I, then we add it. And then we max it, otherwise we don't max it. And then we just total do 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 do. Twenty one thirty seven, is that right? Okay. That's good. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest and my explanation, this problem, whatever. <laughs> stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.